For Construction Pros, ConExpo 17 from Las Vegas Convention Center. Two nice guys with me now, David Venables and Joe Kay, and they represent Team Rubicon. And if you've never heard of them, that's probably a good thing because what these guys do is mitigate disaster scenes. Welcome aboard. Nice to meet you guys. Thank you. Nice to meet you. Tell as our well. crew out here a little bit about what you do and what you respond to, which is like the gamut. Yes, sir. So, uh, Team Rubicon is a veteran based disaster response organization. Uh, we've got about 45,000 uh, 45, volunteers. 45,000. 45,000. And uh, we respond to disasters all over the world. Uh, here in the United States, we uh, typically work with uh, hurricanes, earthquakes, tornadoes, those kind of things. Floods. And floods. We do uh, debris removal, full demolition. What about big fires and things of that nature, too? So we, we don't do actual firefighting, but, uh, no, but if a community cleanups. is affected, we certainly will go in right. and do cleanup afterwards. Like were you out in Gatlinburg in that? Yes, sir. Yeah? Yes, sir. We were in Gatlinburg. It was yes, a big situation there this year, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. Not? It was. Um, and then internationally, we do uh, a lot of uh, medical missions. We send uh, doctors, nurses, paramedics into very uh, hard hit, uh, heavily populated uh, areas that typically don't have uh, good hospital resources, those kind now, of things. Do you guys typically help rebuild a community? No, sir, we're, we're generally a response organization. Right. Um, so <clears throat> we, uh, after, Short, very shortly after a disaster, within right. 24, 48 right. hours, uh, we'll send a small team out to, to recon the area, uh, sure. see if it's a, a, a disaster that we want to respond to, that we can uh, be a, a part of to help the community. Uh, if it is, then uh, we'll uh, send out a notice to our volunteer base and uh, dispatch them uh, out of our uh, operations center in Dallas. And they respond and do what? So uh, we do everything from incident management. We have a, what we call an incident management team that will work with the local emergency managers. Sure. Uh, managing the disaster response. Like security and that sort of well, thing? Well, not necessarily security, but the actual management of the, of the resources that are deployed. Oh, okay. Uh, we can assist uh, local emergency managers in, in, uh, in, in man managing the overall response. Uh, we also uh, do a lot of debris removal. Uh, we do full-scale demolitions of homes. Uh, what else, Joe? Uh, one of the biggest things with the incident management team is when, it, when it, there's a disaster in a municipality, the municipality is not set up to manage the community volunteers that show Absolutely. up. Everybody wants to come out and help their neighbors. So you're the and managers? And they show up on town hall front steps and leaders don't know what to do with them so they call Team Rubicon in and we'll manage all the local volunteers and help them give back to their community while we're there helping Steps as well. And so you're like a supplemental organization that comes in because you have the expertise and you've known how to do it now for a number of years right and you can come in and walk in as or and say well here's what we offer you. And, and we're repurposing skills that our veterans have learned uh, for disaster response. Sure. Uh, a lot of the veterans have been in, uh, well, you can imagine, near disaster scenarios exactly. in, in wartime, exactly. uh, and, and they gain a, a certain skill set that might not necessarily be transferable to uh, the general population, right. but in a disaster scene, they have skills that are There's key. a lot of commonalities oh, that absolutely. all come together. It's absolutely. Just interesting. Absolutely. Particularly like a, like a major disaster zone where you've had a I like say a flood or a tornado. A lot of those those uh, situations can occur time and time again. Doesn't matter where that community is. And you're the managers and and, and go in and help people out and clean up their act, basically. Right. And give them a hand. So we, you know, we we look for uh, we we try to help the the population that might not have homeowners insurance. Right. Um, and. Uh, maybe on, on the lower income scale, right. and uh, we'll, we can go in and target those uh, neighborhoods sure. and, and offer services for free that uh, generally they would have to pay uh, ask, f fairly substantial amount Typically, how for. long would you stay in a, a, a zone like that? It really depends on the scale of the operation. Um, we, we have, our operations are typed the same way FEMA types their operations. Okay. We start with our smallest scale operation at a five and our largest scale at a one. Uh, a typical type 5 or a type 4 operation may last 7 to 10 days, up to 2 weeks maybe. 
uh, we roll up into a Type 3 operation. We just concluded one down in eastern New Orleans uh, last week. We were down there just over 30 days on the ground. And, and our largest Type 1 operation we've run was uh, Hurricane Sandy. And we were there on the ground for months there. And you have your own support apparatus and organization with you so that you don't have to rely on somebody else for that, your support. That's correct. So we go in fully self-sufficient. Right. Uh, we partner with other organizations who can provide us with, uh, say, shower facilities right. or, or right. feeding uh, or uh, build our housing, lodging for right. our volunteers, right. those kind of things. Um, we, we, we definitely try to reduce our impact on the community. They, they've had enough and, and we don't need to expand Let me ask that. you, how can the folks out there get in touch with you if they're interested? Uh, so uh, they can visit our website at uh, teamrubiconusa.org. Uh, it has all the information available about who we are, what we do, uh, how we do it. Let's say they're interested in becoming a volunteer. So there's a button at the bottom of the page that says join now and uh, click that button and it takes them right to uh, the sign up page. Great and, message uh, you bring. And we'll get them there. We'll get them out on a mission. Great message. And I know you work with some of the major manufacturers because they supply you with some heavy equipment so that you can get things done. Yes, sir. So uh, about 16 months ago, we started a partnership with Case Equipment. Uh, and Case supplies uh, heavy equipment to any of our, we, we do our own internal heavy equipment training. Sure. So they supply uh, heavy equipment for that. They'll supply it for uh, any operation we go out on, any disaster response we That's go great. out on where we need heavy equipment. Uh, they donate the equipment and, uh, and, and hand in glove close coordination. Hand in glove, absolutely. It's a it's a one call for us into the case corporate, and uh, they manage it lock, stock, and barrel. David Venables. Yes, nice to John meet you. John K. Thank you, sir. Thank you, gentlemen. Really appreciate you stopping by with this message. It's a hell of a good message. Thank you. And everybody should take heed to it. Know that it's out there. If you, certainly nobody wants to be caught up in a disaster. But Lord forbid, if there is one, somebody's out there to help. Absolutely. Much right. success to both of you as you go forward. Thank you very much. From Con Expo, 7th Astro.